These rings must be split up and never again worn by the same man. And as bearer of this ring, it is your responsibility to uphold this commandment. Vaughn is in search of the other ring to abuse its power. You must make sure he never acquires it. Because if he does, neither you nor anyone will ever be safe again. Do you understand? It's Jim, remember? I'm sorry, Jim. Come on in. No, no, actually, I'm just stopping by. You left this at the, uh, at my office. Oh, thank you. No problem. Any word? No. But as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Thanks. Well, good night, Mrs. Dryer. Clyda. Fishing. Heaven is different for everyone. For me, it is fishing. Last night I had a dream. Not a dream, boy. A vision. What do you think I should do about it? With the ring, you will experience power greater than ever imagined. Understanding it is like a seed. Nurture it, and it will grow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm totally late. I gotta go. I'm late for a date. Boy, wait! The ring brings you many strengths. But you will be strongest when you use your own true abilities. Okay, gentlemen. I'm gonna tell you a story of a wicked boy named Stanley. Listen closely. You will all get to know him. Very shortly. Would you hold still? <laughs> Mom, where's my mascara? Oh, sweetheart, I don't think you need any more mascara. You know, where's your ivory brooch? What do you mean I don't need any more mascara? Well, I think you're wearing enough already. I mean, any more and you'll need a red nose and big floppy shoes. <laughs> now, where is your ivory brooch? What do you mean red nose and floppy shoes? Are you saying I look like a clown? You know, I have to find that ivory brooch. What ivory brooch, Mom? Am I wearing too much? 
much makeup? Mom! What ivory brooch? The ivory brooch your older sister wore to her prom, the ivory brooch that I wore to my prom, that ivory brooch. Should I put on some more lipstick, you know, to subdue the mascara? You know, the ivory brooch that my mother gave to me, that her mother gave to her. It's been in our family for generations. Oh, God. I can't just cake it on. I will look like a clown. I can't believe this. So I have lost that ivory brooch. I will never forgive myself. Oh, my God, that's him. Oh, my God! This. What are you talking about? I look like a clown. What? Whatever gave you that idea? You did. Oh, sweetheart. I was only kidding. I got to sit down. Look in the mirror. Huh? You look like a princess. <laughs> right out of a fairy tale. Now you finish getting dressed, huh? I'll answer the door. Stall him. Yes. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Stan Dreyer. Hi. Come on in. Thanks. I'm Gail, Sandy's Hi, mother. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, I've heard so much about you. Sandy's so excited. Uh, you've been driving long? Hi. Hi. Wow, you look great. Really? Yeah. You both look wonderful. Uh, this is definitely a Kodak moment. I'll be right back. Sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, Stan, maybe a little closer. Uh, okay. Uh, no, uh, Stan, put your arm around Sandy. Is that okay with you? Yeah. <laughs> That's good, okay, let me see. Uh, come on, you guys, you're going to a prom, not a funeral. Dryer. May I come in? Oh, please. Thank you. My son, Stan, goes to school your with your daughter. Your pigtail, Peggy. 